Hello YouTube, in this video, I will show you how you can root your OnePlus 2 using the easiest method possible. If you are new to Android routing, routing will actually allow you to install different custom ROMs or even access system level files and also install root applications. So that's being said, basically routing consists of three steps. First one is unlocking the bootloader and second one is installing custom recovery like DWRP recovery and then we'll be flashing some software like Super SU to have root access of the device. So in this video I'll show you one by one all these steps. And in this tutorial I will be using a tool from XDA. The tool is a tool all in one and which is developed by the XDA developer Mauro Nofrio. And this is the UI of that link and I will provide this link in the description from there you can download it. So go ahead and download this tool and this is how the tools will look like. The first thing you need to do here is to go to install the drivers. So once you are having all the drivers installed, then only your device will be detected. So make sure you are installed the drivers from this tool. So once that is done, you need to configure something in the phone. So go to settings menu in the phone, about phone, down below you can find build number, tap this to build number for 7 times. So you will become a developer here, go back and then you can see developer options here. Select that one, you need to turn on two options, make sure that this OEM unlocking is turned on and then you have this USB debugging here. So turn on that one also. Once that is done, use your OnePlus 2 cable and then connect it to the PC. Then it will ask you to allow the USB debugging here. Click OK. Then come back to PC again and here you can see currently it is showing no devices found. So you need to check here. So if it's everything goes right, if the device drivers are installed properly, it will show ADB device ready. So once it is ready, you can click on reboot in fast boot boot mode, bootloader mode. So the phone will be rebooting and then getting entered into the fast boot mode. And here you need to select the device you want to root. root. So here in case mine is one plus two, so select one plus two. So here you can find the current bootloader status. So click on bootloader status and it will show the current bootloader status. Here you can see device unlocked false so when your device is unlocked it should show true currently it's false so we need to make it true so that's being said so the current status is locked so here you have a button bootloader unlock remember this one that unlocking your bootloader will remove all the files from your device so make sure that you are backed up everything before clicking on unlock bootloader so once you backed everything, came here and then click unlock. So the process will start instantly and then click press enter. So you can see the phone is reboot. When you see these Chinese letters, make sure that you need to press the first one. So which is asking the permission to unlock the bootloader. So the bootloader has been unlocked and the phone will be rebooting. And this boot might take some time, so please be patient. So the phone is rebooted and it will come to this uh, default setup. Go ahead and skip all the stuff for now. Or if you want to configure, you can configure it, no issues. I'm going to uh, skip all this for now. Once the device is rebooted, go to settings menu again. And about phone. Do the same thing we did earlier. Tap this one seven times so you become developer. Go back, go to developer options, make sure that this OEM unlocking and this USB debugging has been turned on. OK, so it will ask for the confirmation. Click OK. So come back to the PC again. Check here so you can see FDB device ready. So I will again reboot this device to bootloader mode. Just to verify that the bootloader had been has been 
unlocked so here we can click on bootloader status so here you can see device unlocked equal to true so which means device bootloader has been unlocked so that is successful so first step is done so next we'll be moving on to install the customer recovery so here you need to select this one plus two so make sure that you are selecting this option only the, the, whichever phone you are using so here you can see the recovery section here you can see flash twrp flash stock so here we'll install the fast twrp option so from click here and then it'll ask for the recovery version so go ahead and select the latest version from the list and I click here the and boot it option click on flash so this will start downloading the version of twrp and then after that it will flash into the phone so you can see something is installing that is the flash in the twrp click ok so here you can see on the phone it is loaded into the twrp and here it will be asking to keep system read only so here what I prefer you to do is like swipe allow modifications so you'll have the full control. So this is the TWRP recovery. From here you can do many stuffs like you can take a an Android backup of your current ROM or you can restore from the previous ROM. So as we have this TWRP installed next we need to flash the super SU file to get the root access so for that we need to download the super su from the link in the description below so from this link you can download the super su here is the zip section down below you can click on the latest version and download it So the file is here you can copy this file to anywhere you want i am just copying it into the uh, downloads folder so come back to this tool again and then you can find advanced options from here you can find he here recovery zip flasher so this will help to flash this super su file through the twrp recovery so click on the recovery flash file and then click on side load and from here click it and then browse the downloaded file so here you can see the super su file double click that one it will load here reboot after flash click on flash and it will be flashing through the side load and then once that is done you can see the phone is rebooting now so here you can see it is flashing the super su installer so the once installation is done reboot your phone from here and you can close this window the first boot might take some time after the routing and it might reboot for like two or three times no issues please be patient once the phone is loaded you can verify the root access using the root checker that you can download from the play store so i will just go and download the software so go ahead and download the root checker app from the play store so the app installation is completed now i'm going to open it click agree i'll skip the intro so here we we have a button called verify root click on that one so if you're pop up being with this super su request click grant so here you can see congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so this is how you can root your OnePlus 2. This is very simple. Remember to back up everything before unlocking your bootloader. That's the only step you need to follow. Everything is simple and straightforward using this tool. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.